What's going on lads? What is the crack? And welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a new two-parter that we're going to be doing for a lot of these players. Not just these cars, but for eFootball24 as well. To put a little bit more into the video. But for this, we are just going to continue to do the training guides. We have a lot of plans. I'm going to show you the new format soon. But this is for basically anyone that's wondering what is the best build of the Lick. Now I have slept on the Lick lads. That's why I'm going to do a review of him. I think he's probably in my top five center back since I started using him. And I just think that as the game has gotten more and more defensive based, less and less about speed, acceleration and space, the better Delict has got, right? He is literally always in the right place. He's got the perfect blend of everything. And I'm going to show you why, right? So this pack at the moment is up on the uh, Japan uh, tour, summer tour. Sorry, lads. The Japan Summer Tour, right? He's 85 overall. He goes to a 95 overall. Don't worry about team playstyle proficiency, and that's going to be gone with the new update. But this guy, first off, right, before we get to his stats, right, we have to take a look at his player skills, okay? He has got every single defensive player skill that you could possibly want in a defender. Yes, he's a build-up, which seems to be a little bit more overpowered. He used to be destroyers were just the main men. Now it's build-up. So you've got the likes of Delict, You've got a couple of other players that probably shouldn't be as good on the ball um, as build-up players that are not as aggressive as the destroyers. But when you get a mix of build-up and destroyers, extra frontman is okay as well. I do have a video coming out on all those quite soon. Um, but when you are taking a look at a defender, if he's not a destroyer and he gets aggression over 88 to 90, he just turns into a different animal, right? So he's got heading. He's also got man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, captaincy, and fighting spirit. Now, he can only play CB, right? That's not a huge issue with this card. He doesn't have sliding tackle. That's also not a huge issue with this card. Uh, he does have unwavering form. He was with Byron. So when the trans or when the live update comes back with the new season in eFootball24, I reckon this card is going to be godly, right? It's going to be unbelievable. Now, the one big issue that I see and people ask me about the whole time is his acceleration and his speed, right? It is a concern. It is a slight concern, especially as I think that they will quicken up the strikers and the fast players in the, in eFootball 2024. I think they kind of have to, to get the balance back a little bit, that it's not just, you know, Mbappe being caught by the Ligt or anything like that. But for this video, currently, I think this is the ultimate build for him. So we're going to go over here to eFootballDB.com and we're going to take a look at him. He's only got 18 levels, right? That's a bit of a concern. We have had multiple versions of him. We had the Bayern pack. We also had the Holland, the Dutch pack. We had the player of the week. All of these cards are pretty much the same. They're rinse and repeat. We also had this player of the week. He's had multiple editions. He had the eFootball Championship one. And then we also had the Young Stars one as well. Um, so there is a lot of good talent uh, with these cards and the, the selection that you can go for. But I definitely think that this is one of the best center backs that you can get, right? He's got 88 in header, 88 in jump, and 89 in physical contact. All of these go with the full form arrow are going to go into the 90 zone. He's also going to have his defensive stats into the 90s pretty much without any form arrow. And when he goes into the form arrow, he's going to have defensive awareness and tackling at 95 apiece. Gresham's going to be at 90 and defensive engagement is going to be at about 94. Now, the one issue, as I said, is the speed and the acceleration. That is true. So if you wanted to, you could actually speed him up a little bit for the stamina and the speed. I personally wouldn't. I think that he's just nearly an automatic defender. Yes, you could go 12 um, from 12 to 10 on the defendant and you could pop that in. You know, you could even go five onto the acceleration or you could go five onto the speed and the stamina and give him a little bit of mobility without the ball. Um, but for positioning, obviously acceleration is a little bit more key, but I definitely think with this card, look, you want him to play a specific role, right? Similarly, you want your wingers to be fast and if they're not working for you, you can switch him out and get a crossing winger rather than having the best of both worlds, right? The Ligt is just your monster that you put in the, in the middle of a back two or a back three and you have him as the mobile guys beside him. So you stick a Reinildo or a Timber or a Tommy Asu or a Kunde beside him. This guy is just the ultimate defender. I would say to kind of have another version of him um, that's a little bit, you know, more mobile um, would be nice with a little less defense. But with the way that the gameplay is probably going, I definitely think if you do get the Ligt or if you're looking to get the Ligt for eFootball24, 
this guy is going to be an absolute monster so that is it for lads we'll keep it short and sweet i will be having a full gameplay review to show you exactly what i'm talking about with the licked and why this card is pretty decent as well it's probably the pick of the summer tour uh, japanese cards um because a few of them are disappointing right but yeah i do really like him he is very similar to bastoni let me know if you want another training guide but for now that is it peace